Brian Scalo here, field product trainer with LG Mobilecom in the Northeast region. And what we have today to share with you is a very exciting product. It is the LG Thrill 4G coming soon to AT&T. Um, what you have is a 4.3 inch display utilizing parallax barrier technology. And that parallax barrier technology is what enables you to view the 3D content. So um, what's, what's parallax barrier technology? So parallax barrier basically gives you the ability to view 3D content without the use of 3D glasses. So now, you know, the, the big thing, you know, that's been uh, all over the press and the media the last year or so with 3D enabled TVs is that there's just not enough content. But with a product like this, this gives you the ability to create your own content, record your own 3D videos, take your own 3D pictures, and then view that instantly in 3D on your device without, like I said, the use of glasses. So. And uh, you'll see here we have our own separate 3D menu here. So it doesn't do it justice, obviously, when you're recording it uh, with the camera that you have. But uh, if you were standing here viewing this right now, you would see that 3D popping out of the screen for you. You have your separate 3D gallery for all your videos and movies and pictures that you've uh, downloaded or recorded in 3D. Uh, and you can view them right here. If you have a 3D-enabled TV, you can tether this to a TV and view that content with 3D glasses as well. You'll have 3D gaming. Uh, you'll have access to the YouTube 3D channel. And the, the thing that uh, that's really awesome, too, is the fact that you're running an Android 2.0 two handset with a Texas Instruments dual core, dual channel, dual memory processor. So you're getting a very extremely powerful and quick handset. So on the back of the device you have two 5 megapixel cameras. So when you record videos in 3D you're looking at 720p video. However, if you wanted to record in 2D, you can record in 1080p. So you can get the full HD quality video when you record on this device. Like I said, you have those dual cameras. There, there they are on the back with LED flash for you. You have HDMI out, and it utilizes micro HDMI to standard HDMI into your TV. And where's the micro? Your HDMI port is right here next to your power uh, source, which will be your micro USB. So you have okay. micro USB in here, mm -hmm. plug in and charge, or data transfer. And then you have your mi micro HDMI port right next to it. Very nice. convenient. And then, and what are some of the standard apps? During a press conference, they mentioned that there will be some standard apps and movies so right, that come with it. Right. I don't know what the movies are yet because I haven't seen, but there's a bunch of uh, preloaded um, like demo reels and things like that on here. And again, I don't know what's going to be in the final product. Uh, what I can tell you for sure that I think is going to be in the final product would be some of the games. So if I go to like the 3D uh, games and apps, and some of the ones that we have preloaded on here are going to be uh, Asphalt 6 in 3D, Let's Golf 2 in 3D, and Nova in 3D, which again is a first-person shooter type game. Uh, what's great about this product is that if the 3D starts to bother you after a little while, mm -hmm. you can actually turn it off in-game oh, wow. or while viewing 3D content so you don't have to start all over again. You can continue viewing it in 2D. And I'm going to ask you a couple of questions that the recent uh, press guy asked, so I'm not going to take credit for these. Right. Um, first of all, what? Um, why would someone get this, wait for this, as opposed to getting the HTC right. Evo 3D? So what I can tell you is that, you know, I'm, again, I'm not too familiar with the Evo 3D product. And uh -huh. again, they make a very, very great product in a number of different avenues and different products that they've made for different carriers. So by no stretch of the imagination am I knocking out competition. Competition breeds competition, so it's a good thing, right? Uh -huh. um, what I can tell you that ours has that theirs does not have is we do have that dual core, dual channel, dual memory. Okay. So with that dual memory, you know, granted, there, theirs is, I think, uh, uh, one gigahertz memory, but it's it's not dual memory. Mm -hmm. Ours is 512 dual memory, so instead of having one path for that memory to run down, we actually have two lanes to process that information faster, mm -hmm. which makes our phone just as efficient as theirs, if not more. Okay, and then so what? So why is LG doing a 3G phone, 3D phone instead? The future uh, cell phones and yeah, I think 3D. Um, you know, I think we're right off the brink of something really big and huge when you talk about 3D and mm -hmm. 3D content. Um, you know, again, a lot of people thought that with the 3D enabled TVs and you're starting to see that now with movie theaters look at how many movies are out in theaters now that are in 3D mm -hmm. you know I plan on going to see Green Lantern in 3D this weekend mm -hmm. you know or, or Transformers when it comes out so there's just so much content in the movie theaters right now and I think as that continues to grow and grow and grow and you start to get more accessible devices mm -hmm. that are going to be a lot more affordable than let's say a 3D enabled TV you're going to have a lot more consumers jumping on the bandwagon because again they, they're able to afford something that costs you know reasonable versus something that 
that's a little bit more high price, like a TV. And then can we see you connect this phone up to the TV for sure. a quick second? As a matter of fact, it's already connected. So again, you have that true HDMI uh, mirroring or cloning, if you will. So what you see is what you get. Um, this also is running our Optimus 2.0 user interface. So I can pinch to zoom to get out of these different uh, slides and actually rearrange these if I wanted to. I can go into my application menu and pinch here. So I can compress my different categories. I can actually create new categories and organize all my apps in my app tour how I want them to be. And then the beauty of it all is that, like we have here, a 3D enabled TV, you can view all that 3D content with the 3D glasses on, right on your display here. Just pops on for a minute. And there it goes. Present. Gotta leave the menu on because by law we have to. And mm -hmm. shoot the menu gone. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's good for the community. And now you'll see the 3D content if you were wearing glasses right now. Okay. And then and this this is coming out in the fall. Uh, price and launch date we have not unveiled, but coming soon. Okay. Awesome. Thank you.